I'm going to show you every pet's value in Adopt Me, so you know what your pets are worth. Let's start off the common pets and make our way all the way into legendaries. Coming in at the last place is the practice dog, which kind of makes sense since you can't actually trade a practice dog, meaning um, you, you can't do anything with it. And then there is a cat and a dog. These are the most undesirable pets to exist in Adopt Me, which makes sense since you literally get this out of a starter egg. Then a buffalo and then an otter. Then we have a mouse and an ant. Personally, I have like a million ants and I hate these things. Then we've got some pets out of the urban egg which honestly wasn't expecting it to be here but I guess they're common and the, the most recent egg. Then we've got pets out of the danger egg. How is a ghost only number 19? So there's also a chart in the top right where all of these things are color coded. So this right here means it is very low demand. So like the colors seem to go and match up because I guess no one wants these commons right? Like, I look at that and I'm like, I don't want that. Apart from my ghost, ghosts are cool. All right, now we have some pets from the Southeast Asia egg, such as the birds and the tapir. And then we've got some pets from the Japan egg. So in terms of rarity, it's kind of easy to understand based off of when the egg was introduced. The older the egg, the rarer the pet is going to be and the higher its value is. So since the Japan egg came out before the Southeast Asia egg, it therefore means the Japan egg pets are going to have a higher value. And then we are moving into some event pets, such as the Summerfest 2023, or the Woodland Eggs, Mythic Egg, and Ocean Egg. As I said, how it works is because the Ocean Egg is older, that means the Stingray is going to be more valuable, even though you might think that a Bullfrog looks nicer than a Stingray, just because it's older kind of makes it more valuable. Then we've got a Walrus, which came out of a Walrus box, which is also pretty old. Now we are nearly at the top section. So all of these things are very low demand, but we're soon getting into low demand. Let's go. That means if you have any pets that are colored blue, then that means there is a low demand, which is better than very low. The Ash Zebra, I mean, yeah, there's a bit of demand for it, but you could get infinite if you bother trying. The Robin, what is what is number two and number one gonna be? The Chick and the Chicken. That's really interesting. I didn't think that the Chick would um, be that high up on the list, considering the Chick was literally a free pet. And then it's kind of funny that the Chick and the Chicken are both the number one and two. But what came first, the chicken or the chick, is the real question. Now we're gonna move on to uncommon pets. You should subscribe and like this video right now. And comment what your dream pet is for a chance to win it. You either love them or you hate them. There's 61 uncommon pets. That is so many. And it makes sense. I think I have tons of these. I have most of these pets in Mega Neon since they're so easy to literally go and make Mega Neon, which is why all of these things are very low demand. Obviously, it depends if you like it or not. But we've got some brand new pets in here, actually, such as a hermit crab or a poodle or this frog mouth, which honestly is such a strange pet to me, but it's a pet and that's what it looks like. Up next, the cuter car, bro, that literally just came out. I mean, that kind of makes sense. As I said, the older it is, the rarer it is. So we're expecting some old stuff to be at the top. Honestly, I don't know what the rarest uncommon pet is. So we've got the black mummy cat, the rhino beetle, the tanuki. Okay, wait, the scarecrow is 43. How is a scarecrow more valuable? I guess it's got a higher demand, which is interesting. And so is the possum. I think the possum costs a bunch of bucks, which is probably why. And the scarecrow was kind of expensive, which probably also explains. But yeah, that kind of makes sense now. So the raccoon is 600 bucks. How do you get a raccoon? I've completely forgotten. A fossa, an arctic tern, the red cardinal, and a rock. Okay, I do love a rock, to be honest. I'm surprised the rock isn't that much higher up on the list, since a rock is really cool. And I do like how that pet looks. All right, what have we got? The frog spawn. All right, that's also another cool looking pet. I'm surprised the frog spawn isn't worth more than like a slug or something. A Kirin, okay, um, they've scribbled over it. The therapy dog from 2022, nice looking pet to be honest. Makes sense, these things weren't in the game for that long. The warthog is from the safari update 2023. I didn't think that would be high up there, but I guess it wasn't available for long. And it looks cool, right? People like stuff that simply looks nice. The eel cost a thousand bucks. Okay, I didn't. I did not know that an eel cost you one thousand bucks. 
Who paid a thousand bucks for an uncommon? Is that correct? Did it actually cost one thousand bucks for an uncommon? Is, is it dumping crazy? What? What's gonna be next? Honestly, there are so many pets to remember. Oh, the dolls? The dolls are only uncommon? To be honest, I, I have not seen anyone use a doll. They came out for a very short time and they were expensive, right? So I thought they'd be higher up there because people didn't actually realize the dolls were leaving the game. And I think a lot of people probably forgot about dolls, but they're cool. I do like the concept. It just wasn't used much. I don't think I've ever seen a doll since, which is interesting. Anyway, butterfly, so many butterflies, a crab, dolphin, another butterfly. So I guess this is the older butterfly, hence why it is more rare than the 2023 butterfly. And then a snow leopard. To be honest, I barely ever see a snow leopard. I don't think I've even seen a neon snow leopard before, which is a shame. Now we're moving into the 2021 butterfly. All right, nearly at the top 10 uncommon pets, which is gonna be interesting. So we got some fossil pets. I love a fossil pet. A bat is rarer than fossil pets. That's news to me. Now we're getting into some pets that have pretty good value. And I didn't know that these things were worth that much. Number nine being a wolf. I didn't know that. Also number 10 is a snowman that came out in 2020. Wow, time flies. I have all of these. So a drake and a silly duck, these are both from the farm egg. Obviously, if you were to open a farm egg right now, that would be extremely silly to do since they're very expensive. But a farm egg is a really, really old egg, hence why it's very valuable. In the number six spot, we have a capybara. Number five, we have a black panther. Then before we have the wild boar. Again, these are pets that you really don't see in sub as much. You'll barely ever see anyone with any of these pets equipped, especially neons or mega neons of any of these, they're really hard to come across because jungle eggs and safari egg pets are really difficult to find. Oh, and this is the first high demand according to this nice little color chart, which is the pink cat, which is uh, very fake these days using the hair salon, which leaves number one. It's gonna be a blue dog, right? If the pink cat's number two. Yeah, blue dog is number one. Okay, blue dog is a nice blue. It's a dog. You can't go wrong. Now we're gonna move into the rare pets. This, this is exciting. I don't know how many rare pets. 83? There is 83 rare pets in Adopt Me. Are you kidding me? With the most hated being a beaver. I thought the ox would be the most hated because I always see people hating on the oxes. Although oxes um, are really old now. An ox is a really old pet. I don't know why everyone hates it. I think there's just so many of them that people just despise them. Like to the point where it's hated even more than a tiger, although it was way older than a tiger, which is so, so strange to see. Anyway, we've got a tiger, a black moon bat, a parakeet, an orangutan, and a zebra. Very cool. I have so many of those pets since I've literally hatched nearly a thousand royal eggs, cracked eggs, and pet eggs, which is kind of crazy to say. All right, the toy poodle. Completely forgot that that pet even existed. The Indian leopard, a ghost wolf, a poison dart frog, and a hippo. So again, I don't know what the rarest rare is. My prediction is a cow, but there's probably something even more rarer than that. Anyway, we've got a gecko, a tarsia, gorilla, scarecrow horse is already up there? That came out recently. How is the scarecrow horse already that high up on the list? That's really interesting to see. A leopard cat as well. Very cool. I didn't think the scarecrow horse would be that valuable. The ibis, a koi. I, I, yeah, I've hatched that. I was going to say, have I hatched it? But there's a different pet that I'm missing. The dark pony, the happy darkling, and an ocelot. I'll tell you which pets I don't have once we get to them. Because there is a couple pets that I don't have to complete my journal. And if you have them, I need them. So, we're now moving into the low demand section, the Bloodhound, a woodpecker, a red fox, and a white mummy cat. You see, you can't actually purchase this for 600 bucks right now, so the value of that, obviously, is going to go up. Alright, the Merhorse, Sasquatch, a pudding cat. Oh boy. I love these pets. The Fool's pets, honestly, I just love them. They're really hard to try and trade, though. I know it says it's low demand. But finding someone with these pets is actually really difficult. Maybe I should try and make a neon of them. That'd be kind of cool, right? Some neon Christmas pudding pets. I'd be pretty happy with that. A bird of paradise, the undead elk. Again, that's a recent pet. I'm surprised 
that that is up there. Anyway, pets that I do not have is a goldfish. It's only 1,400 bucks, but I don't have one yet. Probably because I just couldn't be bothered to buy it. You can still purchase it, I'm pretty sure, but I don't have it. Also, I'm not sure if I have this leopard shark. I'm not sure I do. I don't think I... I didn't do too much of the Summerfest stuff, so I don't really have many Summerfest pets. The chipmunk. I can't even remember buying a chipmunk. I don't even know where they came from. Anyway, the farm update. This this little English sheepdog came out recently. The kiwi, let's go. I'm gonna buy the plush toy of this kiwi because apparently it gives you something top secret. So I'm gonna buy that on Amazon and see what happens. Anyway, a moon rabbit, a hare. That kiwi should be higher up because it wasn't available for long. The ghost dog, okay. I do like the ghost dog, pretty cute looking pet, but it did come out recently. A fish, yeah, I thought this would be more valuable. 1500 bucks. Then we got an ostrich from the Safari Update 2023. I was gonna say, that's not on the original egg. The Ibex, 980 bucks. How do they come up with the prices? Why is, look, let, let me, hear me out. These pets are both rare rarities, right? They're both the same rarity. This was 980 bucks and this was 1,500 bucks. These pets are both the exact same rarity which makes no sense why would one be 520 bucks more expensive and also be less rare doesn't make sense make it make sense okay we've got a seahorse a narwhal a step line the summer walrus yeah you remember this pet one of the strangest pets i think adopt me could ever add in a christmas box is a summer walrus honestly it still confuses me to this day but it it's it's a pet that they added I, I'm not even going to pronounce this. I don't even know how you pronounce that. A Dilophosaurus. Destroy me in the comments, please. For my lack of dinosaur knowledge. The Evil Rock is number 23, and that's a Robux pet. So, what is worth more than an Evil Rock? A Mule, Emu, Australian Kelpie, Border Collie, and a Flaming Zebra. I mean, it was a cheap Robux pet, which, which is probably why these things are worth more. But I didn't think a Flaming Zebra would be worth more than a Robux pet. That's definitely interesting to see. Also, the Border Collie. I can't even remember that pet. 150 Robux? I can't even remember that coming out. Then we've got a Giant Anteater, a Husky, the Ring-Tailed Lima. These things were both 100 Robux each. This is 2021. This is 2020? The Musk Ox and the Lynx. Nearly three years ago. Oh, wow. That's crazy. That is crazy, three years ago. I remember that like it was yesterday. The rat, the goose, the reindeer, the polar bear, and the swan. The reindeer came out the advent calendar? Is that true? Is that true? I'm pretty sure you gotta add the Christmas egg, right? <laughs> am I am I wrong? Maybe it's both. Anyway, we got a pig, brown bear, rhino, a shrew. Shrew used to be my favorite pet. It never used to be called Shrew though. It used to be called an Elf Shrew. Back in 2019, believe it or not, I was, I was actually playing Adopt Me in 2019. That's how long I have played the game. And it was called an Elf Shrew, because I had a little elf hat. That was before Petway even came out. And it's now the number fourth rare pet. So what's number one? It's gonna be a cow, an elephant, and then a cow. Let's go, I don't have a Megany on cow. Pretty cool looking pet kind of um overrated though not gonna lie now we're gonna move into the ultra rare pets that i bet it, there's gonna be so many ultra rares isn't that there's gonna be so many how many i picked 60. what how is there 115 how is that even possible why is there more ultra rare pets than there are commons and uncommons like the idea of that is that they're going to be common right so there should be more of them. 115 ultra rares? That is, um, that is crazy. The worst ultra rare pet is a red panda, followed by the Shiba and then the Persian cat. I'm not surprised about the Persian cat. If anything, I thought the Persian cat would be, um, more hated than the other two, since they were literally given out everywhere, and they were so easy to get. I think the Persian cat is literally the easiest pet to ever exist in a dummy. It was easier than getting a common or an uncommon. Anyway, the robot, a corgi, a swordfish, a water moon, but a, a bee? A bee is 106? What? Guys, a bee comes out of something that costs you 100 Robux. You have to throw the honey pot. Wow. Number 105 is a sloth? What? 
and then a ginger cat. All right, I'm not sure I agree with this, that, that a ginger cat is worth more than a sloth. Definitely think that's slightly wrong, but I guess they're basing this off of some specific values. Not 100% sure because I personally wouldn't put a ringed octopus above something such as a robux sloth which definitely has a lot more value so i guess you can um take this each to your own i'm not really sure how the value was calculated but the rest of it seems pretty accurate okay a bunch of these are out of the southeast asia and the danger eggs then we got the golden goldfish oh the new penguin okay then we got a toucan a trapdoor snail a crane and a spider crab all right the scarecrow cat really wow how's that that high i mean i guess it's kind of cool People like it. And all of the other things here are Robux, right? The the Ladybug's Robux, a Squirrel's Robux, the Chow Chow's Robux, uh, the Salamander's not, but that came out the Woodland Egg. Woodland Egg is getting old. I wish I kept so many more of those eggs, rarer. A Pine Martin, which is from the Woodland Egg, a Badger for Bucks, a Ribbon Seal. I don't know when that came out. I completely forgot. A Starfish. The gingerbread reindeer. This is such an underrated pet. The fact that this pet is only number 80 is mind-blowing. To be honest, I've never seen a neon gingerbread reindeer or a mega neon one. Maybe I should make a neon gingerbread reindeer in a video. If you want to see me make a neon gingerbread reindeer, please let me know. And I shall make one very soon because that would be very, very cool. And I think it'll be an interesting pet. Anyway, the Black Scarab, all of these things seem to be Robux, um, such as a Mud Ball that costs you Robux, the Golden Wheat costs you Robux, Golden Clam costs you Robux, the Pony Box you could get for free, a Hydra is from the Mythic Egg. You don't really see many Hydras these days. You used to see a Hydra everywhere. A three-headed dragon, underrated pet, it's so cool. A Wyvern, a Penguin, this is the classic Penguin before the goldfish thing got updated. St. Bernard is from 2020 Mon. That's crazy. The ice cream hermit crab from the hermit crab box. I thought something from 2021 would be more valuable than something out of a box that came out this year. But that's crazy to see. I guess it's like based on values, what people think looks cool. The zombie wolf came out of a wolf box. I forget that half these pets exist, to be honest. The green Amazon, a butterfly, a scarab, the many mackerel. Yeah, there's so many pets. Like, the fact that there's a hundred and something of these ultra rare pets, it's just difficult to remember that half of these things even exist still. The panda, that pet's removed. You can't buy it anymore. They got um, taken by Sean or something, probably. The clownfish, magma snail, sneaking its way up here. So the magma snail and the toasty red panda, although they have the same odds, the red panda just looks so much cooler, right? It just looks nice, which is why it's number 59, not number 62, because it looks way cooler. It's just so much cooler, the red panda. It's toasty, although the red panda is the most hated pet. The slime, very cool pet. The Grimoire, 2,500 bucks. Very expensive pet to go and try and pick up. It just really is. Um, the Wood Pigeon. I feel like that might be another pet that I don't have that I need to complete my journal. The Dionchisaurus, the Happy Clam of Pomeranian from 400 Day Login Reward. The Evil Basilisk, the White Sand Dollar. Can you still buy that? Can you still buy it for 240 Robux? You get two of them, right? You get two sand dollars, so is 48 the other one? Yeah, there it is. I knew that was going to happen. I predicted the future. The evil chickatrice, the skelly dog, the magma moose. Wait, the people like the magma moose more than the other ones? That's interesting. I really wouldn't have predicted that. I, I thought that the toasty red panda is way cooler than a magma moose, but yeah. Let me know in the comments, what do you prefer, magma moose or the red panda? I'm voting red panda. The Snowball Pet. Again, I barely see this pet. You see it nowhere. Also, the Space Whale. If you have not seen the video where I go and open up the new Adopt Me Toys, I got a, I got a real um, Space Whale plush, which I think was I wasn't meant to get. But I did. I got it. An uh, Orange Butterfly, a Snowball, and a Ram. Let's go. The Royal Spaniel. 200 Robux. I can't even remember that pet existing. The frog, koala, the royal corgi was 4,000 bucks? 4,000? I bet barely anyone has this. This must be really rare because it costs 4,000 bucks. 
Not many Adopt Me players have 4,000 bucks spare because that is just so expensive. I'm trying to think what the most valuable ultra rare pet is and as of right now, I'm not too sure. I, I don't really know what it's going to be. A caterpillar that literally just came out and just left. It's gone already, right? The Black Spaniel, a Brown Spaniel, these things are from 2022. The Pelican, I can't remember, I honestly I can't even remember that pet being added. Oh yeah, it maybe came out the same time as the Kiwi? Is that, is that when it came out? I'm not sure. The Irish Water Spaniel, you get it from buying five UGC items. The Orca is a 600 star reward login again the orca is a pet that i have never seen as a neon i feel like that's going to be a nice neon but i have never seen that before the lion cub i have also never seen a neon but that was kind of added recently which is kind of makes sense why we have the sheep um which is shortly followed by the lamb the lamb is more valuable than the sheep which is a funny pet i wish they do more meme pets i think i think adopt me fans would like them to just do a bit of trolling the Glacier Moth. This is a pet that I don't have. I do not have this pet and I need it to complete my journal. I need this pet. It looks difficult. Um, can you buy it right now? I don't know. Maybe it's the old one. I don't think I'll ever get it. I gotta do some trading for it, I guess. Yeah, also the African Wild Dog. Buy 5 UGC. Is that the current one? I don't know. They just keep changing it. I feel like this might be the one right now. Correct? Tell me in the comments. I'm sure you guys know more than me. The toy monkey and a business monkey. Okay. Wait, that this one's gonna be the older one if it's more valuable, obviously. I'm silly me. Okay, what is gonna be number one? The ultra rare ice wolf is 490 Robux. Okay. We've got the Tortuga della Isla for 490 Robux. Number 10 is a turkey. Number nine is a llama. What is gonna be in the rest of the top 10 for the ultra rare spot? We've got Number eight being a Puffin for 120k gingerbread. Puffin was such a crazy pet back in the day. People would trade crazy things for this thing. The zombie buffalo for 36k candy in 2019. Again, really old pet. A jungle egg platypus and a jungle egg crocodile. These pets are really cool. Number four is a lion from the safari egg. What are the top three ultra rares gonna be? I think that a hedgehog is definitely gonna be number one. That's my prediction. Let's let's find out if I am correct. Will the number one be a hedgehog? Oh, I was correct. Number three is a flamingo from the safari egg. Then number two is a dalmatian but yeah, look how expensive the hedgehog was. Plus it's 2019, which is a pretty old pet. And it's also a really cool looking pet. So this has a very high demand. Moving into the legendary section. Honestly, I've got no idea how many legendaries are in the game. I predict 60. If there's any more than that, then that is insane. Let's find out. Oh, no way, no way. 118 legendary pets exist. Are you kidding me? And all of you guys say that there's not many? 118? The minion chick was literally a free legendary that they gave out to every single player. Theoretically meaning every single Adopt Me user should have a minion check. The Luna Gold Tiger is number 117, which is interesting because I personally think people hate the Metal Ox more, but the Metal Ox did come out a lot longer ago, but the Luna Gold Tiger is a nice pet. It's like my logo. My logo is a tiger eating a cookie, so I can't hate any tigers. I love them, that's why it's my logo. Anyway, moving on, a dragon, a golden mummy cat from the mummy cat box. The golden griffin and a golden dragon. You are guaranteed a golden pet when you open up a golden egg. I barely ever see any golden pets nowadays though, um, which is interesting. We've got a Cerberus, which you can't get in game anymore, which is a shame. We have a dragonfly, a guardian lion, a robo dog, and a cobra. Most of these pets have been vaulted, meaning you can't go and purchase them anymore. It's also interesting to note that this one is 500 Robux. This was 500, but the Cobra was 550 and the Robodog was 600. All of these pets are legendary, but the prices are slightly different within 50 to 100 Robux gap, although they're all the same rarity, which is definitely interesting to see. Anyway, now we've got some pets that you go and get by throwing consumables. 
such as a honey pot where you have a chance of going and getting the legendary. We have um, the chocolate chow chow, the black chow chow, and the golden king penguin, which when you consume these Robux items, you have a like one in 10% chance of going and getting the golden versions or the diamond versions, I believe are like one in 40. So they're gonna be a lot rarer. The unicorn. This definitely has a good value because you can only get it out of the retired egg now. And not many people have the retired egg because to get one, you need VIP and VIP costs you Robux. So not many players even bother opening the retired egg. Anyway, peacocks, then the pirate hermit crab. How is that so valuable? I mean, it's a cool pet. It's a cool pet. That's probably why the, the cute golden cat. I never see those things, but they're cute. The Baku, the Scarecrow Crow, is that much value? I mean, I guess an actual crow has a good value, right? So the Scarecrow Crow does kind of make sense. The Sunrise Duckling, okay, wasn't expecting that. The Shark Puppy, that is another pet that I do not have. I need to find a Shark Puppy. This is number 89, apparently it's a low demand, so I should be able to get one relatively easily, right? Which is good for me. The Axolotl, um, that's gone. You can't buy it for Robux anymore. The field mouse came out in Easter. I had no idea an ancient dragon and an alicorn were worth more than a pet that cost you 600 Robux, which is really interesting because 600 Robux cost money and you could just hatch an alicorn or an ancient dragon out of a literal cracked egg. Then again, these are really cool looking pets in comparison. This ancient dragon is an amazing design, hence why it is more valuable, although there's something that costs you actual money, these things are still pretty difficult to go and get your hands on. I mean, I literally opened 100 eggs and I only got like two or three ancient dragons out of it. If I was to purchase 100 eggs using Robux, it cost me like 50,000 Robux or something silly. So realistically, I could have just bought a bunch of axolotls for the same price, but this one's kind of more valuable. What is going to be next? I am intrigued. A chimera, the green chested pheasant. The Yule Log Dog, let's go, from the Fool's Egg. Maybe I should make a neon of this as well. Again, it's like an underrated pet. I mean, it's still 81 out of the legendary list, but it's just a funny pet to me. It looks very Christmassy. It was from the April Fool's Egg, um, which most of you guys probably forgot about. The White Amazon, a Green Butterfly, a, um, a Golden Boros, a Billy Goat, and a Tree Kangaroo. I'm surprised the Tree Kangaroo is that high up there, actually but it is a kangaroo, so it makes sense. A lava wolf, the pony, a spinosaurus, an owl bear, a firefly. Can you still buy the firefly? It's 500 Robux. Why is it that high up there? If, I'm pretty sure you can still buy it. The dragon, a hawk, a golden penguin. This is the classic one. And then the first diamond pet, and then a astronaut gorilla. Be sure to let me know which of your pets is the rarest and highest value that you own in the comment section. The Levithian, um, a very strange pet that's not really that talked about. A golden rat, a fallow deer, a gold horn, and a diamond dragon. All right, that means the diamond unicorn's gotta be next, right? Definitely next. Where's the diamond unicorn? An octopus, a shark, a dodo, a phoenix, and a gargoyle. All right, the gargoyle has made its way up there. Although it came out of the new egg, not many people are hatching the new egg which is why it has such a good value, if that makes any sense. It came out recently and it's really valuable because it looks cool and not many people are hatching it. It's a difficult pet to hatch. All right, number 53 is a T-Rex out of the fossil egg. I like it gets its own page. Then we've got a cuddly candle, a diamond ladybug, the scaly Rex and a ninja monkey from 2020. I wonder when the next fairground will come back. There's the diamond unicorn. The diamond unicorn made its way all the way up to number 47. I guess it's a preppy pet. It's a unicorn. It looks cute. It's made out of diamond. You can't go wrong. A gorilla, a squid, a chameleon. Those RGB box legendaries, still really difficult to go and get, but maintain a large value. The jousting horse, a lavender dragon, the Tio de Nadal. Very strange pet but it is up there on the top list. The werewolf is number 38. Um, it, it's definitely gonna drop in value, right? It came out recently, but it's still gonna be available to purchase for a long time. 
It's 600 Robux, but you're going to be able to purchase it for a while since um, it's not being removed for a while. The Ice Golem, everyone forgets that that pet even exists, um, which is kind of funny. I, I don't even know how you pronounce this pet, and I forgot where this came from. Let me know in the comments where this pet originated from. But we've got a Winged Tiger. That is a pet that I really want to make Neon, but I don't think I have enough Winged Tigers yet. So, someone please help me. A Sugar Glider, a Nessie, a Dancing Dragon, a Capricorn, which you can still buy. You can still get the Capricorn pet, but it costs you a thousand Robux. Not many players have a thousand Robux spare, hence why it's a very valuable pet. Yes, you can still buy it, you just need to buy a house, game pass, which is how you get the Capricorn. Making it up on the list, we got a Frost Fury, then a Diamond Albatross, Golden Scarab, and a Mecha Pup. The Mecha Pup, I barely ever see in the game. To be honest, I think I've only ever seen a Mecha Pup like once or twice throughout my entire history of playing Adopt Me. I don't think many people purchased it. It probably came out on an April Fool's update and barely anyone decided to buy it. So it definitely has a good value and it's really hard to find. So it's difficult. The Frost Unicorn, it costs you a thousand Robux. Then we got a Vampire Dragon, the Strawberry Shortcake Bat Dragon, which is an amazing pet, which is why I had to make a Mega. The Undead Jousting Horse. I think players forget all the time that this was a 1,000 Robux pet, which is crazy. That that thing cost 1,000 Robux. Very expensive pet, but it looks cool. At least it looks nice for 1,000 Robux though. That's why it's the bear on the list. A Diamond Amazon is number 17. Are you kidding? That's how valuable it is? Alright, before anyone goes crazy and says, why is a black chested pheasant number 15? Believe it or not, there are more neon and mega neon shadow dragons than there are neon and mega neon black chested pheasants. That is why this pet is so rare, okay? Because it's not out in the game for long. It comes out on rotation. Yes, you could just go and buy more of them each time it comes out, but this is a really valuable pet. It's so difficult to go and get because it simply costs you a lot of Robux. If you were to go and try and catch one, it's like 400 Robux each time you throw it and you've got to do it on average 40 times to get one of them. And it's kind of a more recent of a premium pet, which is why it's valuable. And not many people open the box, which is also why there's not many of them that exist. Number 12 is a Monkey King. All right, that makes sense. Number 11 is an Arctic Reindeer, another pet that I have, Mega Neon. Diamond Butterfly. Number nine is a Blazing Lion. So there's a lot of people who are thinking, oh, Blazing Lion should be number one is the most valuable pet. But the Blazing Lion is always going to be adoptable. I know the odds are one in 10,000, but you can always go and get it if that makes sense. All right, so one in 10,000 kind of sounds terrible, right? That sounds like basically impossible. But say you do it every day for 10 days, your odds are then one in 1,000 from those 10 days. Since you get the 10,000 and divide it by 10, since you've done it 10 times, your odds were one in 1,000, technically. I mean, your odds are still one in 10,000 each time. I think my math makes sense. I'm not sure. But yeah, as I as I say, the blazing line, you can still get it compared to an Arctic reindeer. You can't just go and magic one of these things up. There's no way to travel back in time to the Christmas egg and get an Arctic reindeer compared to the blazing lion, which you just need to be lucky. There is no skill with the blazing lion. Then we've got a crow. Top seven is the evil unicorn for 108k candy. The parrot from the jungle egg. The owl from the farm egg. The frost dragon, also a pet that I don't have anymore since I traded my poor frost dragon away. Then a giraffe, meaning in number two, and in the number one spot is the bad dragon and the shadow dragon. You think we were done? Ha, we have event pets. Yeah, we got Scooby-Doo the pumpkin and a 2D kitty. How could we possibly forget about those? Credits to Prelord Titan for allowing me to react to their amazing video. You need to watch this video where I test one star Roblox games. Click this right now to go and watch it. I dare you to. Click here to watch.